Lena 4.0 just released and one of the many features which was added is the ability to make geometry node into regular operators. If you're familiar with the basic operators like selecting an edge and hitting E to extrude, these are common operators you find inside Blender. But now you can create your own operators like this where I have a simple operator for resampling selected edges. So I can select an edge and I have a parameter to adjust how much I want to add to, so I want to resample that particular edge. And if you notice, it's only affecting the selected edge. So I can select this and resample it. So it will just affect the selected one. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can start, get started with this and set up your own tools. To get started, we can just go into the node tree or inside this um, default, we can bring out a new window and switch this into geometry node. Right now, you should be familiar with the modifier where you can select an object, create a new geometry node modifier, and it's placed in the modifier stack of that selected object. The tools functionality works a bit different. It is not associated with any object. So if I go to this drop down where we see modifier, we can switch it to tools. And if we click on new, we can notice even we had an object selected, it's not adding it in its modifier stack. That's because it's adding it to the scene. So if you save this blend file, this, the tool is saved within that blend file. Okay. The next step is to determine what you want to create. So in this particular situation, we want to create a simple resample operator where we can select an edge and be able to resample it on the fly. So to do that, we can start by searching for a resample node. So we want to resample a curve. And we can notice the mesh we have is not a curve, it's a mesh object. To make this work for this mesh object, we have to convert this mesh object into a curve. So let's do mesh to curve. So we get the geometry, which is this. Then we convert it into a curve and then we can resample. So after we're done resampling, we want to return it to its initial stage, which is a mesh. So we can get curve to mesh. So we converted it from mesh to curve, resampled it, and then we're sending, we're converting it back from curve to mesh. And if we go into the edit mode, uh, we can notice uh, we don't see anything. Um, but if we come here, we can let's rename this resample two. So we can see it right here. If you want to be able to go into edit mode and see it, you have to come here in this UI. And we can look at these two drop downs. So for the mode, you can select where you want to be able to use this. So if you don't want to see it in object mode, you can disable it and set it to be only visible in edit mode. So if you go to edit mode, you're going to see this new icon. And if we click on it, we can see the resample tool of this tool. By the way, I'm using Blender 4.1, the most recent release. That's why I have access to this tool. But for the other, if you're using Blender 4.0, you should not worry about this because by default, only the edit mode is supported. Um, only in 4.1 where um, you can choose several modes. You can also select different object types. So if you're using mesh or hair curves, um, you can choose them accordingly. Okay, so now if we come here and select one of this edge and click on resample, we can notice it's resampling everything. So we want to be able to tell it to resample only the selected object. But before we do that, we need to expose some parameters because currently when we resample, we have no parameter or any way to adjust this on the fly. So to do that, you just simply expose any value you want to adjust. So we just expose that. And now if we repeat the operation, you would notice we have this redo, um, what's the name again? Adjust last operation, which you can click here to also see it. So we can now adjust the last operation. Okay. So now we want to be able to tell it, we want it to only affect the selected mesh, um, the only selected mesh. Um, to do that, 
we can search for select selection this is uh, this node is only available in the tool so if you go to the modifier and search for selection so you will notice you don't find it it's only available when you're in the tool mode so this allows you to apply effect based on the selection so how can we use this as a mask or as a factor for this uh, we can use the selection as a selection um, connection here so we're basically saying only converts the selection to a curve for mesh to curve and also we are using it as a selection telling it to only resample the selection as a curve and now if we run this operation again resample we can notice it's only resampling this but then we lose the rest of the object to have the rest of the object visible we can use a join geometry so we want to combine this initial geometry since it's exactly we don't want to lose any of this we want to still have them so if we do this now we can see we have this and it's working but if we apply it we can notice now we have two edges here because we are joining to geometry so it's keeping the previous one and the new one so we want to find a way to be able to um, in the initial stage um, when we are joining we want to delete the selection and only preview the newly created version of this geometry um, so that's easy to I'll just organize this so you can see the flow we will just add a delete geometry and we want to delete we want to get this and if we preview it now that's um, if we preview it and we set the selection to the selection so you can notice it's deleting the selection selected mesh so we can try that again and delete it will delete only the selected mesh so it's working perfectly and now we want to combine it and we'll delete this connection so we are having this too so we get the output of the new selection and also the combination of the old one and then we can join it now if we go ahead and resample it should work as expected where we don't have any newly created geometry but it only affects the, the selected mesh and we can do this for this okay so how do you make this part of your blend file web by you can restart blender and be able to access it um, the way you do that is you come to the outliner or you can come here mark as asset you make this an asset or you can also come here and look for no tree so we have this resample tool um, you come here and mark it as asset so you can do it either way either through the outliner or the node editor itself after you're done marking it as asset you want to come to the asset browser right here and we want to go to current file so you can notice we have this resample right here so what we want to do is to create a new category and let's call this test if we go for my old example we can notice here we have gn2 so this is one i created so we want to be able to get something like this um, if you want to have all your tools in one file in one kind of uh, menu then you can combine them into one um, you can add them into one category um, into the same category and same file location like you would do your asset to kind of make them belong under the same category so as long as they belong in the same category like Gino, uh, GN tools then they'll be listed as an item under the, the menu um, but for this case we want to create our own custom so i'm setting this to test and i'm going to move this into the test and you can see we have a new resample um, button and if we click on it we can always have access to that so that's how you go about setting it up 
I hope this tutorial was informative and fun for you to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It will be very well appreciated. And please spam the comment. Um, I, I heard it helps boost videos because of the interaction. Please comment any questions you have or your excitement. It will be well appreciated. So bye-bye for now. See you next time.